apartment to a serious girl because we gotta find me a home. Ooh, this is nice. It don't smell like roaches in here or nothing. Tell me you never wanna lose me. Is this thing on? New character unlock. Who is she? Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm just here, Brianna. If you are new here, make sure that you like, you comment, let me know that you're new in the comments down below, and make sure that you subscribe. I promise you're gonna love it over here with the content that I produce. Okay, so today is a very exciting day. I'm about to go on some apartment tours. My current lease is up next year, early 2025. So I'm trying to get on things a little bit earlier. <laughs> We throwing up them deuces, it's time to go, okay? I have some non-negotiables and some nice-to-haves on my phone. The first things first, I currently live in Alexandria, Virginia. I want to relocate to Arlington. I feel like Alexandria is really quiet. It's a lovely neighborhood, but I will raise a family here. And I'm young and turned and I'm thriving. I don't have no responsibilities like that. I don't have kids, you know? I don't have to go as hard. So I don't want to relocate to DC because that's too much hustle and bustle. It's loud, it's chaotic, it's crazy. I think Arlington is a perfect blend of them both. So some of my non-negotiables for my new place would be lots of storage and just space in general. So my current apartment has a full-on pantry and then I have an entire storage unit. Yes, an entire storage unit on my balcony right here. So when it's time to relocate, I need to make sure that I have just as much space from um, like any built-in nooks, built-in shelving, um, cabinets, things like that. Those are non-negotiables for me. The view, another non-negotiable, okay? I don't want to look at the back of someone else's apartment building. I don't want anyone else's balcony looking directly into my balcony or room. That's not cool. That's unsafe in my opinion. If I'm in a high building, I don't want my view to be the top of a garage. Ew. That's not cute. Something else that comes along with the view is natural lighting. You guys know I'm a YouTuber, content creator. I need natural lighting for not only the work that I do, but literally for my sanity, okay? Number three is updated appliances. I feel like that speaks for itself. And then a nice neighborhood. And what I mean by that, because I know Arlington is going to have a nice neighborhood in general. I want it to be walkable. I want it to be very convenient. I want to live nearby stores, shopping centers, and things like that. So... I feel like that's a good list, right? Now, in terms of my nice-to-haves, a balcony would be nice. I've been in my current apartment for three years. I have yet to uh, decorate that balcony, and I won't be, okay? So, that's why I put it on my nice-to-have list, because it is really good for when I host my friends, you know, people that like to partake in certain things, can go out there and do it freely, but... Eh, it's cute if I got it. It won't be a deal-breaker if I don't have it. Pool. This is low-key on the non-negotiables. I don't know why it's down here. I want a pool, specifically a rooftop. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to revisit that. Floor to ceiling windows slash tall ceilings. Right now, my current living room, super tall, super high up. It's beautiful. I don't want to downsize. Okay. Now, floor to ceiling windows, if you have a big window and it's not technically floor to ceiling, that's cool. But I would prefer for the ceiling like who wouldn't and then last but not least a light kitchen or just a really lovely backwash i like interior design i pay attention to those things i host a lot in the kitchen i cook a lot in the kitchen i want to film a lot of cooking videos in my kitchen so yeah it's currently 12.04 my first tour is at 12 30 so i'm about to head out and we're gonna talk a little bit more about my first apartment tour when i get to the car okay you guys so we just arrived to the first spot which is called the earl apartments they are located on 1122 north hudson street arlington virginia let's go see what they are all about A lot of model bitches check for me, nigga don't check for me unless you got checks for me. I kept a stick like a hobo, no checking me. Way back when Kilo had to spot and trust you. So many hoes had to get up, I said to me. She left her body home and brought her net to me. I did a walk, do that shit to jet to me. Y'all niggas show price, let them my jump. One of my arms. 
worth a ticket. Watch so much that a car came with it. Back in the day, I used to walk with no mask on. Shit on my wrist, I would've killed the whole house for. Then I went to school high, I ain't go to class though. I was with the OGs, learning about the class though. Got me with a dude's five, mama keep my ass, bro. Break yourself, you can play on the dash, bro. I'm with Sid and Lil Baby. We got four choppers this fool. Right before rapping on God, I was trapping. Just to get my Glock and look poor. I got my cake from Osama. Whew. Okay, you guys, so I just finished up wrapping up my tour at the Earl, and I will rate her overall a 8 out of 10. The amenities are amazing, and I think that they don't do a good job with showing the amenities on the website. Like, they have a little putt-putt golf area. They have a chess, little, like, huge chess thing that you can play. Um, the share spaces are really, really nice, and they have, like, a free coffee station. They have a huge package area that has like perishable for like your perishable packages and larger packages they're stored away it's all connected through their butterfly app they have um a bike storage garage they have multiple actually and they have their own bike service they have dry cleaning services like i know some of that stuff is on the website but they don't do a good job at showing it it's beautiful okay i will say this complex is just very small like the finishes of the apartment the the appliances everything is beautiful it's just small the pool tiny as hell it gives baby pool like i won't say as small as a jacuzzi but it gives baby pool it only goes to like three something feet like <laughs> i don't understand how everyone in this complex especially because they have two buildings can like comfortably be at that pool all together at once it's no way it's just really small something else is really small the bedrooms and the walk-in closets and the living room like literally overall the whole entire place is small even the balconies and i'm coming from a really big apartment not in terms of the complex but my apartment in general my unit is really big and it feels big and it has a lot of storage they did have storage like you can rent storage like you can rent a storage unit with them but that's an additional fee um and they have a lot of like cabinets and whatnot especially if you have a unit with the non-mobile um island you have storage under the island you have a lot of storage in the bathroom so there's places to put your stuff however in terms of like just space minimal small to none girl i literally am like trying to be on my shit this year this time around when i get into my new place girl i bought a measuring tape and i said hold on let me put out my measuring tape and actually like see if my couch can fit in this living room girl because it's small and it could barely fit like it'll be from like it'll get from wall to wall especially with the amounts that they're charging i'm like hold on Y'all charging 3000 plus for this little ass unit. Not to mention, the people on the other side could see right into your living room. If I want to get natural lighting in my place, someone could literally see right into my building. It's just really small. But yeah, they have a lot of things that I really appreciate, like 24-7 concierge. They have 24-7 maintenance, emergency maintenance. I love that. I don't think I saw the other one that has this space i didn't see that one they have two buildings i didn't know that um so like if you was in the other building that don't have all these amenities it would feel like you paying for what like i'm paying all this money for what because you will have to walk across to the other building oh also their parking they charge 250 dollars per parking for parking if you have the under you know under the ground garage and then they charge a uh, hundred and fifty dollars for another garage that you have to walk to. Are you dumb? They also charge you if you want any visitors parking and you have to give people like their car information prior to them coming because you have to pay and you have to give them all the information and it's $10 per day. So somebody come over for a week, you giving up another, you gotta cough up $70 for that person to, to stay at your house. I think that's insane. Um, I didn't see the pet spa and stuff like that because it's in the garage. I don't even have a pet. <laughs> so, like, that would have been unnecessary. But, yeah, she cute. But I would give her a 7 out of 10 now that I really think about it. The next tour that I'm headed to doesn't start until 2.45, and it's currently 1.30. So, I'm probably going to go get a bite of grab to eat. Um, 
And then I'm going to link back up with you guys when it's time to tour the Altair. Yeah, I see it, these niggas, I'm sick of hoes Got a bone of Pikachu, I'm picking them on The hardest thing for me is staying composed Don't got no one that back calling me splurge Let me jump right out the curb Make this right fly like a bird Spin on the first and the third Solid, I'm keeping my word Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard Crack up the phone, I swear Keep me a stick if they purge I don't wanna they working my nerves. I'm about to pull us a serve. Yeah. Fucking this bitch like a perm. Yeah. Smack from the back of a perm. Yeah. Ice, the bird. Shitting on all you little turds. Can't take that dick with your turn. In my own life, we can merge. Yeah. So with no hands, you can learn. Yeah. Let's see how much you can earn. Hi, you guys. Okay, so I just left the Altair, which is located un momento let me give you guys the rundown 400 army navy drive arlington va i will never live here <laughs> um it is such a chaotic and uncomfortable environment it is right on the side of the highway i didn't know that i should have known from the views the amazing views that are on the rooftop but it is so chaotic here parking is insane um if i had anyone visiting me i just know that would be a headache to like find a parking spot i didn't even feel safe driving up to it so i was supposed to do um a self-paced tour it ended up being a guided tour by this lovely fella who was really really nice really sweet because i had mentioned that i wanted to see a one bedroom plus a den so he was able to show me that and then he just he was he was in his groove baby he said let me show you this let me show you that he ended up showing me like all the amenities all the shared spaces um and everything else that the apartment has to offer so i didn't mind that at all because it was easier to I kind of like guided tours. I just wanted to make sure that I got my content in. The unit that I toured, people just moved out of it. So it did look, I don't want to say a little janky, but you know, they didn't go in and clean it and make it all fancy smancy yet. But um, it was still nice to see because I love the finishes. I love the way it was set up. I love the spacing in the bathroom and the... Um, the walk-in closet the den didn't even feel like a den it felt like a two bedroom the closet in the den was amazing like i could have a beauty room and two closets like two full on closets if i wanted to they know daggone well they should put built-ins in those closets this this place is too fancy to not have built-ins in a closet and i will say if i'm doing a comparison straight between the altair and the earl the Earl wins because it had more specs. It had a wine cooler in the in some of the apartments. It had under cabinet lighting in some of the um, some of the kitchen. No, all of the kitchens had like under the cabinet lighting, dimmable lighting, built-ins in the in the closet. Like it just had more to offer. I don't think it's worth the headache of like what it would be when my friends come over and try to stay. You gotta pay for your visitor parking per night to here, which is just like, that is disrespectful. <laughs> that is disrespectful. But yeah, dang, overall, I really give this place a six out of 10 in terms of comfort and in terms of like, I don't wanna say accessibility, but accessibility. <gasps> but it was so nice. I'm picky, y'all, I don't know. Neither one of these felt like home. I will say. Now, you you know what's crazy? I'm saying all this about this area, and I just realized that the apartments, another apartment complex that I want to tour is called The Sage. It's right behind this one. So, if I don't like this area, I'm not going to like that area either. But, you guys, my battery is dying, and I'm scared of getting towed. This guy keep walking. So, yeah, you guys, I think that wraps up today's tour. Um, I love the apartments, but I just... 
don't think that neither one of these are the one yet so i'm gonna keep looking if you guys enjoyed this apartment tour vlog please let me know in the comments down below because that'll make me know that you guys want me to film a second round um and if you guys want to be a part of that journey make sure you comment so i know that you want to watch part two of this apartment tour series girl because we gotta find me a home subscribe if you are new to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye mamas Tell me you'll never wanna lose me. Tell me you'll never wanna lose me.